Now, the Saya Gaya project has been quite a success in my view. And I say that for the reasons, uh, a few reasons. We've seen the projects that have come out of Saya Gaya. We've seen the support. We've seen the platforms that have come out of Saya Gaya. Uh, I love uh, one uh, statement that I found in, in a documentary by, uh, for the building of Dubai, where the Crown Prince of Dubai says, look, let's build it and they will come when Dubai was still sands and sands, does, does a desert of sand. And I think what Saigaya has done is they've gone ahead and said, let's build the platform and expose the, the people to the platform and the people have came. And here they are, people have came to the platform and people have come to the party. And I think uh, the very nicest thing about Saigaya is that the work that's being done, they directly impacts on communities. So it's, it's, it's a problem solving platform we're not just talking research, but we're talking actionable research where we see results and when we change lives of people. So for me, that has been quite a good learning path and a good learning curve. It has exposed me to quite a number of technologies, all of these nice things, your G libraries, your open access repository. But the idea of open science is so huge that uh, if you think in that particular way, you will never go wrong. I feel like we can change the world if we think about solutions openly and if we discuss openly. My use case uh, uh, I, has been about uh, putting or creating a scientific uh, community or gateway for speech technology users in South Africa. Some of the work that I took from them helped me to finish my, my master's research and the, the article that I'm presenting this afternoon is actually on e-infrastructures on grid computing and how we could actually use grid computing to alleviate the problems that we find in high performance computing and processing, how we can cap the demand and at the same time utilize fully the computing and resources available to us, especially in academic environments. So it's been quite a great uh, honor to be part of this project and look, I'll do this again and again and again, given another chance to do it. Definitely, <laughs> it, it actually embarrasses me to admit to the fact that Africans are not connecting on their own. We had to have guys from Europe, from the Saigaya project, uh, telling us that it's important to collaborate and work together, which is something that we should take away definitely from this whole experience, that now I've met great colleagues from uh, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, uh, and we are collaborating now. We are beginning to talk. We've been to talk about future projects. I've met interesting people and nice people from all, all over Europe, Sweden, UK, Italy, you guys. And it's been, it's been a great experience. I always believe that exposure is the greatest tool that you can give to anyone. Once a person gets exposed, they'll never be the same again. So yes, I have been very much exposed. I've met wonderful people that I think in the future we could do great collaborations with and move forward. So Saigaya, this is really the end of the beginning. This is the end of the beginning.